Hello my friend, welcome to my channel Faisal Azib. I hope that you're alright. So let's now implement the last uh, missing functionality for game which is this score. And to really understand how this high score uh, should uh, work, is, let's take a look at the demo again. So now, let's start to play. 15, check. Okay, so as you see our star score is 19. Uh, let's say a couple of uh, numbers, try to find it twice or maybe 10. Below 13. Good. So the score number is uh, 18, and the high score is now also set to uh, 18 because this way my first game, and so now this is also my new high score. But now, as I play again, my score, click here, of course, huh, in the game button. When I play again, my score was set to 20. But now, if I do better score than this uh, 18 in the high score that I had before, that, that is now also my highest score, okay? Again, because the current score is larger than the previous uh, high score, and so that is now the new high score. Okay? So let's try, maybe I get new high score, I don't think, because it's very hard with 18. Ah, good, directly! <laughs> As you can see. Now it's the new high score directly. Good. So you see the high score change because it is the best one. So now, basically, we just store here. Uh, here in in uh, is now what we need to implement. First off, we are gonna need to variable for a high score. All right. So just like for the regular uh, score. We set it let high score to zero the first one first time okay good this way the first score is always going to be the high score because it's always going to be a greater than zero okay so where do you think we should check the high score so basically if the current score is greater than high score well remember that uh, here the high score was set as soon as the player won the game and so, where is that in our code? Well, it is here. Okay, it is here. In this plot. Okay, and so this is where we will check. And to check that uh, we will, as I explained previously, is to ask whether the score is greater sorry, than the current high score. So, what we do, if score is greater than high score. Okay, right, and if it's so, so if our score of the current game is greater than the high score that we already had, well, then the high score will become this new current score, right? So, high score will be the current score. Good, and that's it. No, all I have to do is to display that new high score here in this element. And actually, of course, in our version uh, version of the game, so let's see in HTML, the high score, this one. Okay, high class, label high score. Okay. So, here, uh, of, course, is it? of course, this one. Yeah, ah, sorry, not this one. <laughs> it is uh, uh, this one. Sorry, I mean this one. This one, sorry. So the class is the high score. Right here. Good. And it is called the high score. So just uh, this uh, span, remember, not uh, the the p paragraph. So let's do it. So document. Dot query selector. And here, here dot high score. Okay. And here, text content. And this will be set to, so simple, to high score. Like this. Okay. And that's it. So this is a tr translation of the logic that I just explained earlier. 
So we need to have a high score variable so that we can keep track of it. And then whenever our game finish, we check if the current score is greater, greater than the high score. And if it is, that will become the new high score. And so we set our high score variable to the current score here. Okay. But just to make sure, so we try it, of course. Is there not demo here, of course. So let's uh, try it to get the high score. Low, too low, so maybe 18. Too low also, 19. Too low. No, check. Too low and 20. Good. So now, as I click again, you can see uh, everything will be resetted. Okay, except for the high score. So that's the goal of having this button here. So that you can play the game again, but keeping the high score. Because, of course, if you reload the whole page, then everything will be lost. So the whole code will then run again, and everything will reset. But here we now keep our high score, right? So let's play again and try to get a better high score, I hope. Too high. Okay. Too high. Ah, it will be difficult to get the high score there. Too low. Ah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I get the same. Or correct number, but it is the same high score. So maybe I will uh, uh, try another one. I hope to get it uh, again. Too high. Then too low. 13. Ah, too high. 11. Correct number. I think it will be difficult to get a new high score. Let's try it. Too it. Then too low. 5. Too low. Oops. Ah, too, ah, sorry, too low. Ah, no problem. Again, so 10, too low, 15, too high, 13. Yes, do you see my whole score change? Got it. So we implemented it as well. Now our game is actually functional. It works very well. And you can show this note to your friend. And tell them that you build this your, uh, on your own uh, with the power of JavaScript. So how great is that? So again, congratulations of making uh, it to this point. And for building really your first game using code. No, it is not really a sophisticated game. Huh? But I still think it is great achievement. Now inshallah in the next video, we'll finish up and clean this code a little bit. Okay, for example, uh, this uh, code here. Okay, so with this code uh, we have uh, in this scenario where the guess is too high is almost the same as we have uh, in tool too low. And so we can change that a little bit to eliminate some of this duplicate code. So there is also some other duplicate code that we can get uh, right off. And so uh, now let's do that in the next video, inshallah, because it is also important to really finish up all application and not just make them work. Okay. So see you next video, inshallah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like this video, share it with your friends. Take care of us. I tell you goodbye. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh.